Hi, this is Dr. Rajesh Karna, Pie Implant Surgeon from Beverly Hills. Today we are going to discuss the types of pie. If you watched the previous segment, you know PIES is an acronym for Presbyopia Implant in Eye, which was coined by myself a few years ago. Now, the original uh, history of PIE is very interesting because I did my first PIE procedure in 1992. But those implants are, were very different from today's implants. The original idea for those implants came from looking at glasses, how we have progressive glasses and bifocals where distance is on the top and then near is a, on the bottom and middle is in between. So those are known as refractive glasses and refractive irons. So those are the first few ones which were implanted and tried. As you might have guessed, it's very difficult for a person to keep doing this throughout the day, especially if they cannot move them like glasses. So very few people were happy with the outcome and with the advent of LASIK eye surgery in the mid 90s, most researchers and uh, clinicians like us, we thought, hey, maybe presbyopia LASIK might be the solution and we don't have to go this route. But presbyopia LASIK didn't work for two reasons. Uh, one is whatever we imprint on the cornea is not as good as what's implanted near the nodal point of the eye. Number two, more importantly, even if you were able to correct presbyopia on the cornea, the natural lens keeps aging and it changes its color, thickness, and vision deteriorates. So even if though you create and uh, fix it initially, it will deteriorate and the effect will not be permanent or long lasting. So that's why presbyopia implants had a resurgence in 2005 when the first uh, of the latest pack were approved. This was called the accommodative uh, implants or accommodative pie and Crystal Lens was the first one. It was followed by Crystal Lens HD and today's version of Crystal Lens AO for aspheric optics and the toric fixation version called True Line. The second type is multifocal contact lenses which allow person to see far and near and middle and we have Restore and we have Technis in this group. In each one of them, there are different powers available, so how much near person wants to see. The third type is trifocal. It's got recently approved last year. Panoptics is the representative one, and then you have also panoptic storic. The fourth kind is EDOF, or extended depth of field, where we have symphony and symphony toric. So now these four classes, what is exactly the difference? So let's go over that. In accommodative, the shape of the lens is curved, which allows us to see a different lens. <clears throat> but it does not give all. It does not give distance, middle and near. For very close, it stops shots at an arm length. So it works great for tall people. But it's also especially important because of the aspheric uh, optics that when we have patients who've had previous LASIK eye surgery or even radial keratotomy, where the optic zone might not be good or people with some sort of early macular degeneration or surface wrinkling, uh, accommodative lenses like crystal lens and true line can work. When, and when we come to the multifocals and panoptics, they look pretty similar and it's basically a play on the design. The amount of light coming to our eyes in these lenses is split into distance near and middle. So even though Restore and Technis are called multifocal, they are actually bifocal, but because of superimposition, they create a middle field too. Whereas trifocal splits the light into distance, middle and near, and quadrifocal splits it into four, and then the scientist can work on the design to push some of the image or light towards distance to get better distance. Extended depth of field looks similar to a multifocals, but works more similar to accommodative. So it has eschlets uh, uh, designed on it, which allows the light to be focused as a continuous zoom. So it again works good 
if there are some corneal or macular aberrations well. The best lens for your eye would be determined on your basal state of the eye and what your expectations are uh, for lifetime outcomes. Thank you.